Hello everyone, this is Direwolf20, and I'm here with my buddy, what's your name again? Uh, Soren. Soren? Wow, uh, Soren. Your voice got a lot deeper. Summer has aged me, Dire. Wow, that's... that's pretty good. Good for you, buddy. Uh, at least it's not that dirty scoundrel pa Pahamar. Dude, let me tell you, Soren, how annoying it is to record videos with him. I know. What? Pahamar? I didn't see you there. <laughs> How you doing, buddy? I am great. I am ready to uh, yeah. go hang gliding. Would you like to go hang gliding? Go uh, maybe. Can you make me a hang glider? You can't make one yourself? I got tons of leather. Well, I could, but if you're at the base, you could make me one real quick while I'm harvesting sand and dust and such. Well, I could just fly and swoop above you. Ooh, I just got uh, some room for improvement on my shovel. Uh, plus one haste again. I think it's like three haste on it now, and I have more modifiers, too. I should put uh, that obsidian or something on it. Oh, that's a Pahamar. Hey, buddy. So you can see off in the distance my awesome hang glider tower, which looks really ugly yeah. from this angle. It's not bad. So uh, we uh, we totally have a safe way to get back and forth from the city. Really? It involves flying. But not like that. jetpacks. Ooh. Hang glider flying? Hang glider flying. I'm a little concerned. There's a doorway over here. Can you seal it up on your way in? Sure. Okay. I've made a little bit more food, by the way. I and I've that. been working uh, feverishly to get more um, stuff. Mostly, I'm putting lots and lots of dust in our autonomous activators here and making as much... Um, pretty much what I need is iron at this point. If we want to do pneumaticraft, we need iron, like you wouldn't believe. So I'm actually going to dump all this gravel stuff that I've got here. That should be good. Gravel, 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 gravel. Gravel, sand, sure why not. Iron ore dust. I only have one iron ore dust. I've been feverishly moving it from point A to point B. Um, you need Because I've been, yeah. The good news is because we're tripling our ore, uh, I'm doing like not terrible on it, but yeah, I could be doing better. All right, come with me, quickly. All right, I'm coming, I'm coming. So you so have I a hang glider for me? I made you a hang glider, and you okay. ran away from it. Well, I'm afraid of it, because I don't know how to use it. OK, follow me. OK, how do I use it? The... Well, I'm going to take you up. Do you want to start from the high height or the medium height? Uh, I'd for say high height. Run. OK, we'll go to the high height. Will medium height, like, get me to the place? Nope. Nope. Medium height is our return landing. Oh, okay. Well, then I'll see that on the way back, right? Yep. Okay. So I just right-click this and make sure it stays on my selected cursor thing and don't let That's go That's correct. It. And if you want to verify okay. it, when you right-click it, yeah, you it can should just go, away, go right? into F5 mode. All right, which way do I go? All right. Do I have to jump? Me? No, you can no. just fall off. So follow me. Make sure it's on your back. I don't see you. I honestly don't, don't see you. Oh, there you are. Do I have to be all the way up there? This is the best way to do it. All right. Okay. Make you sure go. you have it. You go first. And off we go. Oh, well, that's kind of cool. Does holding forward do anything? I think it makes you go faster. Sweet. So yeah. I'm hang gliding with Pahamar. If you generally follow me you will get to the other tower I have been building. It's not finished yet. I need to build the the landing uh, on the way back. OK. So we're getting close to it. You should see the city start coming in in a second. Yep, I'm a little bit behind you, but I can see where some of the roads are. And you can see the tower I've been building here. Oh, yeah, look at that. Fancy. Yeah, so check this out. You can land right in one of these buildings. Wow. This is way faster than uh, what we were doing before. If you hold back, you kind of stop. Hey, how you doing over there, buddy? I'm good. How are you doing? I'm doing pretty good. I'm terrified. I'm going back to there's our base. <laughs> there's no door in there, so if you just climb back up. Yeah. I can hide, hang glide my way back home. Yep. So okay. I'll uh, I'll lead the ways. Well, you might want to set up yourself up with some waypoints so you know the dir uh, correct direction to go to. I mean, I know the general direction. Well, there you go. I should be able to mostly find it. 
So yeah, this is the by far the fastest and the safest way we have currently. I like it. All right, I'm following you. Not bad Hooray! to cover half a kilometer in like 10 seconds. I know, right? That's really good. Oh, yeah, I think the author totally, of this uh... map is going to yell at us. <laughs> hey, I've seen some people say that they built a tunnel from their base to the city, and I'm thinking that is a really long tunnel. The problem with building a tunnel is it's all dust, and dust is affected by gravity. So not only do you have to build a tunnel, but you have to build, like, I guess you could build it under the roads. Maybe that's how they did but, it. But still, you'd have to, you know. All right, here's my first test of the landing pad I set up. Oh, this is your first test, and I'm part of it? Thanks, Vahamar. Perfect. That is pretty good, yeah. So there we go. That's what I've been doing. I like it, dude. That's a that's a good bit of off camera work that you've got going on there. Oh yeah. I'll take it. So um, I made got that. Does yeah. that help? Yeah. That definitely helps. I needed food. So there should be a good variety in there. Just remember never to eat anything that's like a raw resource. Like don't ever eat our apples or our grapes. Like anything that's listed as a morsel, at the very least, upgrade it to something better. I made some garden soup, which is apparently the only thing you can make with the soybeans. Like soybeans, there's no way. Well, you said I need that block, right? The presser, is it? Yep, the presser. Which does that I, need some kind of power or something, or is it I just? I believe it takes a Does it? It's a Pam's Harvest Craft thing, I believe. Yeah. All right, I'm gonna head back to the city and I'm gonna set up that landing pad. Okay. That sounds cool. Um, I might be close to being ready to do some new meta craft stuff. Uh, I wanted about a stack of iron before I started, and I feel like I almost have that much. Um, so if you're going to the city, are you going to explore and collect some goodies? Potentially. I think I think that's something that you should do that I when should you do. are not me. Your, your <laughs> logic is unassailable. I Thank you. I agree. I'm pretty sure it is unassailable or anything like that. Just trying to keep track of the Y level I am when I pass over this thing. Oh yeah, lots of ingots now. Like I'd say that we're doing great for resources, but at the same time we have so much of other metals and we really don't have enough iron for pneumatic craft beginnings. But I mean like I might have enough right now for what I need to do for pneumatic craft. Do you want to see what I'm going to do for pneumatic craft or? You say that as I've just flown over to the city. That's cool. I'm just going to make some TNT and explode something. Well, that's cool too. But I guess you don't want to see explosions, Pahamar. Pahamar's like, no, nah, I'm good, dude. I don't need no. to see an explosion. Explosions are boring. All right, I'm blowing this thing up. You don't need to see it. Run away! You're making more iron? Yeah, I need to make that compressed iron stuff. Oh, I flew all the way and over here. And for that, I got 54. Nice. I think that's enough. I think that's what I need. Okay, I am exploring the city because I flew all the way over here and I didn't bring any extra cobble to build this landing. Nice. All right. Find me something good, like more compressed iron. I'll see if I In can fact, find myself I, another um, factory I think we building. saw, like, parts of a pressure chamber. So if you find any of that, let me know. Do you want me to come assist you in exploring the city, or should I stay back here and not be terrified? I just think I'm good. You sure? I mean, you can come out of here if you want. If you come out of here, mind. bring chests. Bring chests? Yeah, because then we can actually store our goodies and ferry them back and forth. Okay. So I'm going to do a bit of a scout. See a couple of factory looking buildings. Give me just a minute to collect myself some wood, because I think we're super low on wood at the moment. Oh, it's getting dark. Did you really go out there in the dark? And now I'm clipped into a building. Yeah. <laughs> Do you want to sleep through the night and then I'm going to try to fly back to the tower. Okay. Like, did you bring food? Did you bring water? Are you yep, safe? Yep, I brought a second camel pack. Okay. 
Full of water. Full of water. Full of water. Cool. I'm actually kind of low on water at the moment myself, so. Hey, if you're coming back, I'll go there with you after we sleep through the night. Actually, and... you sleep through the night, I'll just log out and we'll make it quick. You know, because okay, we're totally works. efficient like that. No, we are? actually, no, I shouldn't. That That's disingenuous. To I what? fly back. Logging yeah. out, that's totally cowardly, and I only do that when I'm about to get killed. <laughs> Alright, then I'm not sleeping. Okay, well, I will come back when it's morning. Okay, that sounds like a plan. See you then. See you then. Alright, bye tomorrow. I'm almost to the city. Nice. How are you faring out here? Are you okay? I'm okay for the moment. Okay. That's a good sign. I totally just found a high oven controller. And some filing cabinets. I found a monster spawner. Does that help? Yeah, you might want to break that. Alright, I'm something weird's happening in my character. It's like Oh yeah, I totally found that too. No, no, no. It's something to do with the blocks underneath you. Oh, really? Yeah, it's it's weird. So I should like just um try and get through as best you can. Oh, uh, zombie pig. Thing. Oh, you're right. Okay. I thought it had something to do with Oh, wow. I just got a lot of compressed iron and a pneumatic wrench. That is really good. That's exactly what I was looking for, dude. Yeah, man. This city is ballin' if we can survive it. That's a pretty big if. That wasn't too bad of a fall. Um, okay, that stuff's not exciting. Pressure chamber walls. That's exciting. That's what I need. As a matter of fact, like, I don't think I needed to explode all that iron anymore. But that's okay, because I'll need the, the compressed iron. Like, pneumatic craft uses a lot of compressed iron. Oh, and there was a creeper spawner inside that. That is terrifying. I'm making a beeline for our tower. Yeah, are you in trouble? There's a few creatures around. The city is still scary. It is, just a little bit. But the thing is, is that I got a bunch of goodies, and I want to safe safeify them. Yeah, that's a word. Safeify them. Yeah. Um, which way is our tower? There it is. I see it in the distance. Yeah, I wouldn't mind. Now that I have like the that stuff, I'm gonna head back to the base and start building what I need to build. Do you, have any Do you want to good meet back up other at than the base? Apple pie? What's that? Do you have any good food other than apple pie? I do. I'll trade you. I'll trade you. Is apple pie no good for you anymore? Uh, you know it actually has a timer. Like it's not like it's you you can't have it anymore and it's gone. Right. So, now, yeah, the way it I'm works cool is that after you've refilled, I believe, 18 hunger, it resets. Um, like, if you mouse over one of the items that you've just eaten, it should see, like, eaten once within the last 18 hunger. Yep, I saw that. So I think what that means is, like, 18 hunger bars. So, like, it's it's like the last 18 hunger bars you've refilled, it keeps track of how you refilled it. So it's actually pretty easy to reset that. You just have to eat... We have way more food than we need in terms of variety. Um, you basically just need to eat somewhat of a variety, and you really won't ever have a problem. All right, I'm going to explore the city a little bit more. All right, you were totally right about not changing your hot bar thing. What did you just do? Are you dead? I fell from a high place. <laughs> All right, guys, oh we will gosh. be back once my... Uh, once my shell constructor is reconstructed and I go get my stuff. Yeah, you do not want to do that. Back in a minute. Direwolf, I love looting this city, even if it is terrifying. So you're heading back from the city now? What'd you get? Um, of the stuff I'm bringing back, uh, I got 25 redstone ore, 3 ender pearls, some blaze rods, uh, some filing cabinets, and 24 iron ingots. Fancy. 
Indeed. You know what I'm not going to do? I'm not going to follow what my hang glider. Yeah, that's... You know what? I would 100% recommend that you don't fall off your hang glider. That's... That's not a good time for anyone. The other nice thing, um, as we explore out of the city, um, we are able to start breaking all these monster spawners. And the city is becoming progressively less deadly. I'll tell you what's not less deadly is the area around our base at the moment. Indeed. That might be something that else be that something. I work on. Um, if we yeah. light up a lot of the outside of this base, we can actually get ourselves a working mob spawner. And That's cool. Landed. Sweet. I'm cooking up a little bit of glass. Where would you like our pressure chamber room to be? Uh, you know, you left the front door of the base open. Did I? Oh yeah. Whoops. Dun, 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 dun. Okay, you got it. Um, yeah. Where do you want me to build the pressure chamber thing? Um, where would you like to build it? Uh, I could build it in here to start, like right in this room. Is that cool? Sounds good. So where's the chest to put our dusts in? You're breaking up a little bit, I can't hear you. You're really oh. quiet. I sneezed and it muted my mic. Uh, still really quiet. Dun dun dun. Don't know. Hello, hello, testing. A little better. Hmm, don't know what happened. Yeah, not sure. So right, this should be sufficient to put our now. dusts in. Uh, like the dust dust? Yes. Um, downstairs. Ah. Anyway, I dropped off the goodies. Good. No, I mean the, the dust we sift. Oh, uh, it's underneath a block. It's a good thing this isn't a game made of blocks. Correct. Pressure chamber ready to go? Yes, pressure chamber working. Not the nicest looking pressure chamber in the world, but it'll do. It'll do. Um, so, then all we need to do is connect this guy to this, and we're in good shape. Cool. Um, now we can, guys, if we want. I believe one of the quests, Bahamar, is to do this under pressure, measuring pressure thing. It says we have to craft a pressure gauge. And you said that wasn't that hard. It's not. It's just four pieces of gold. Pressure gauge. Did that complete the quest objectives? Pressure gauge tube. Okay. Let's see. That is just two levers. I'm pressure. Crazy that that's a safety valve. Pressure gauge tube. Actually, it's two redstone, so that's not hard at all, considering we have four stacks. Hooray! I like how I got all excited finding that redstone or redstone ore in the city, and we've got it for days. Yeah, we really do. It's okay though. Pressure gauge tube crafted, and oh, we can claim compressed iron as a reward. Nice. I'll that's get cool. my reward as I when I land at the city. Okay. So let's see if I can remember the calculation here. Two times the pressure in bars is the redstone signal emitted. So if I want this thing to stay around four, which is what I want, then we want a redstone signal of eight. So let's do this. I put That's right, you can't put that there. It doesn't angle ever. So I know this totally know has this. nothing to do with the map itself, but there's a huge thunderstorm going on outside of my house in real life, and I'm flying into the city at night, and it's really scary. Well, I can only imagine. Hmm, how do I want to set this up for most useful usefulness? I mean, I could do something like... 
If I did that, though, that's not going to work too well. Brain's like, nah, I don't want to think right now. All right, you want to come back in a minute once I come up with a good design for this small room? Because this is boring. Okay. All right. All right, I am back, Bahamar. Welcome back. All right, I'm going to set this guy to require a low redstone signal to operate. I kind of would like it to be high, so I might have to do a... User left your channel. Yeah, I think what I'm going to do, Pahamar, is make a redstone torch for this. I want you to know I'm doing vanilla redstone, Pahamar, and you should be extremely proud. Oh, you know what? No, that's not a good idea. Um, yeah, that's not going to be any good. All right, I'll play with this later and make it a little bit more efficient. But for now, this should be sufficient to turn this thing off when it's time. So if I throw, like, some of this in here, we should be getting some pressure in our system. Have you played with Numenacraft at all? I have not. Okay. Um, it's fun and a cool mod, I think. I you want to come check it out? I would love to play more games. Yeah, me too. Okay, All right, I okay. am finished with the tower in the city with its own landing pad, so I'm coming back. Sweet. Oh, hey, um, cool. I just need one green plastic. How do you get that green plastic? I forget. That is a creeper plant seed in the pressure chamber. Okay, we should have some of those. So is this a way we can get plastic for MFR? Uh, no, it's a different kind of plastic. No, we still need to get ourselves a rubber sapling, don't we? Yeah. And that's from um, Tinker. Tinker. What's that? How we is that how we get ourselves a rubber sapling? Is to sift dirt. Correct. So one of the first things I want to get is a pressure chamber interface, and for that we're going to need some rain plant seeds. Um, do we have any of those by chance? So many mobs outside our base. Oh, I know. It's crazy. We have lightning, but we don't have rain plant seeds. But I think if we had grass seeds, which I think we do, and lapis. I'm going to go on a limb and say this will make us nice rain plant seeds. Awesome. Okay, cool. Uh, I want to plant this in dirt. So let me go find a dirt patch that I can go tap into. I think we have some dirt in the base. Plant on dirt, grass, or farmland. Works for me. The good news is we're pretty good on bone meal, so that should make this a little bit easier to do. Okay. I must have put my bone meal away earlier. Nice. Hey, I've made us a second sieve. Sweet. Just so we can do manual sifting as needed. Don't know why I said it like that. Just want to see if it's one or two bone meals that you need for the rain plants. I think it's metadata 13 is when it can go, so that's good. Hey, you got us tomatoes. Did you? Yep, tomatoes so... and grass seeds. Sweet. Plant a few of those tomatoes for me. Is 
So let's see, if I want the pressure chamber interface, I'm going to need 12 plastic per interface, per crafting. All right, so 12 plastic is what I actually need. I only have 10. This will make our pressure chamber a lot, 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 lot more efficient. So the way it works, Pahamar, is you have to build up a pressure chamber. Okay. But there's no way to automatically pull items in and out. You actually have to break the pressure chamber, which lets all the pressure out. So it's terrible. And Until isn't you... that when you get a valve? Or, uh... I remember watching your spotlight and seeing that there's some upgrade. There is. Um, so yeah, there is an upgrade. Put this in here for now. Did I totally just steal what you were trying to get towards? Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> He's so, like, I'm going to teach Pahamar mods. Alright, so let that pressure build up again. And that should get us the creeper plant seed. Oh, I can hear air getting out. That you absolutely can. That's why it stinks, but you know, now that now that I've got the creeper plant seed, let's see, does that complete the quest? It does. Hey, we have a quest we can complete. Nice. Um, so the green plastic is easy to get. Uh, we actually already have the stuff to get that. Machine speed upgrade. Those are not terribly easy to make. Uh, because they require potion of swiftness and lapis lazuli. Uh, but I also want to make sure we get some squid plant seeds because I don't think those would be terribly easy to get. So I'm going to take squid plant seeds. You go ahead and get the machine speed upgrade. Deal? Deal. Okay. So hooray, squid plant seeds. Squid plant seeds are a little annoying because they have to be planted on a water source block, but it's not the end of the world. And this guy's almost to the point where he has enough pressure. 0.5 bars. Come on, let's go. There they go. Nice. It's like watching popcorn. I'm going to turn this off for a minute. Or I could just say... High signal required. Got us uh, three pump, uh, three, three pumpkins, three tomatoes. Nice. I've got 12 plastic, so that's good news. Uh, I'm just going to let that drain out because it's not going to really do anything. Uh, so in order to get what I want to get from Pneumaticraft, I need a hopper and some compressed iron, and I need two compressed iron and a cannon barrel. And that's going to need two levers and a pressure gauge again. Okay, not too bad. I should be able to pull this all off. All right, we should be not too bad now. Let's... Put my food away. Inventory's getting cluttered. Oh man, it's hard to get this. Um, yeah, no, it is. Like, it's only a two percent chance. Oh no, oh, right. tree sees. <laughs> oh wow, you just got it. Nice. It was on the ground. I was on the, the ground. Rubber tree. Nice, dude. Pahamar is awesome. You know what? I'm not going to disagree with that in the least. So I'm going to need two of those things, right? Yes. So I'm going to need another set of levers and gold. Oh, I need a crook fast. You need a... Oh, a crook. Got it. One thing i got to say, Pahamar, we're definitely doing a lot of different things on camera this, this series, so there's a lot of incentive for people to watch both of our points of view. Yeah, yeah, I know it's because there's not a lot of people watching your videos, you're just saying that. I know, I'm just saying, it would be nice. Okay, everyone, could you, like, just please give Dyrolf a bone and, like, watch some of his videos?
I understand that they're terrible, but you know. Do you have any wood wood by the chance? If you uh, don't, I can wood, grow wood. some. Wood, wood. I have rubber. I have rubber wood. Do you need it for anything? Nope. Rubber wood is rubber essentially wood useless. Is okay, I can use it to make chests, I hope. I can. So I guess now that we have rubber, we actually now have the ability to do more automation. Um, maybe to a point. A little bit. Depends what kind of automation you're looking for, but yeah. I've got pressure chamber in our faces. Hooray! Do you want to see how they work? They're cool. Just a sec. I'm just about finished trying to get more saplings. Okay. What's weird is that the rubber tree leaves go dry. So, like, you gotta be quick to try and get saplings and stuff. Really? That's interesting. I'm not familiar with that mechanic. Anyway, I got three extra saplings. Nice, dude. Alright, I guess you're downstairs? No, you're not. You're not. Careful. Being careful. Yep, I'm over here. Okay. Oh, my pick broke. Here, borrow mine. Here, borrow All right. Mine. So interface there, interface there. Uh, the only thing I'm going to need now... Well, I can repair mine real fast. Oh, can you give mine back then? There you go. Could you actually give it back? No. Um, the only thing I need then is item ducts. So I've got fluid ducts, I need item ducts. So that is lead and two tin. Did I miss a quest? Oh, we have a we have a hand in. Uh cool. Losing air. Uh, we can have item ducts, pneumatic servo, or reward bag. I'm taking reward bag. You know what I was oh, just no, doing that. Oh, nice. Uh, losing air. Yeah, you know, I was doing interfaces just because they are, like, super, super efficient. But, yeah, okay. Um, cool. So, what'd you get in your reward bag? I got a good one. I got hardened leather. Cool. I've got marble and limestone. Decor reward. That's so helpful. <laughs> So helpful, I'm going to eat an apple pie in celebration. No, don't do it. Haha, -ha, it's done. Um, so yeah, I've got item ducks now, apparently. Hooray. Uh, I wouldn't mind a couple more chests. So, uh, you have any more wood, Rodmar? Uh... There you go. Thanks. You want to see how this hooks up? Just a sec, I need water. Oh, so do I, apparently. Alright, well, let's look at this real quick, and, uh, and yeah. So basically, it'll auto-eject. Um, I'm thinking we'll have just a chest right here, which is where stuff will land. Um, that can go like that. We can have a glass window here. That should be reformed now. Right? Yes. So this guy will set back to needing low. Um, and then we can make that and a lever. There we go. So anything we put in there should now get dumped right into this thing. Hey, how did this thing not be a glass? Because the glass was left inside. Oh, there we go. Inside. No, what it is is like it's directional. So like the glass is only, see how it's only on two sides? Behind you here? Ah. 
yeah. All right, so that should be that. And at this point, we should be in pretty good shape. Uh, you want to come back in a minute once this thing has built up some pressure? Sounds good. I want to get some more wood anyway. Oh, you know what, Pahamar? I, I just checked, and I think we are unfortunately in a position to wrap up this episode. Aw, but we got all Sorry, the pneumatic-y. I know, but we have to wait a little bit for the pneumatic craft stuff to kind of get to the point where it's going to be, you know, charged up and everything, so we should just wait anyway. Um, at this point, though, we... Done this episode, though. We did. We got a lot of good stuff done. Um, I'm super thrilled with our progress so far. Do you want to see the redstone component of this? Because it's actually pretty cool. Whoa. What Whoa. is going on? There was some weird There's... rendering going on with that tree. Was there? Come into the pneumatic craft room, and then we'll wrap up, and I'll show you how it works. Okay. So this... See the pressure gauge? Wow, the pressure gauge actually like constantly makes sure it faces you. Yeah, it's neat, right? So for every half a bar of pressure running through this tube, it emits one redstone signal strength. Um, so it's almost maybe about 20 or 30 seconds or so. Actually, did you get those speed upgrades? I did, actually. Let me go put them in. Well, I'll show you where to put them. Put them inside the air compressor. It's actually going to make the air compressor use up stuff faster, but that's okay. Um, so you see here, it should, as soon as it passes one bar, should start emitting two signal strength. Yep. See? Um, and then the air compressor is set right now to turn off when it receives a redstone signal. Um, because what happens is, you see how on the bar there, there's a red meter after five? That basically means as soon as the pressure builds up past five bars, it has a chance to explode. Yeah, let's not do that. Yeah, you don't want to let things explode. Exploding is bad. So the way this is set up is I think it'll cut off around, around, um, you know, a decent level. Very good. You like? I like. I think this thing wants to be set like that, and it should auto-eject. If it doesn't, I can just put a lever there. You know what? I will put a lever there. There, now it's auto ejecting. I'm actually going to do it on the other side just in case. Darwolf is a pro. I am. I know exactly what I'm doing, clearly. So I think next oh, wow, episode, did we actually I'm just try that monster uh, mob spotter. You're going to do that next episode? I think so. Why not? Why not? Wow, we have a lot of metal except iron. Yeah. Yeah. I wonder what our limit right now is. It's all iron. Oh, wow, we're already up to decent red zone signal strength. That's cool. So that's halfway there. So this thing should shut off either at four or four and a half. Either one I'm happy with. Um, and then I'm just going to test a little bit off camera to make sure that this actually is a functional system. Um, I think we've got an extra seed or two. Uh, yeah, we've got some lightning plant seeds. I'm going to get like four of those. So watch. If I put these in here, they should show up in the chest. See? Let's see what happens. The door should open inside. You should actually see it opening. See it? Yep. Yeah, and they pop they in. They and then they should pop through and land in here. So I need to do a filter. You can filter what items are allowed in and out. I have to do that. All right. All right. All right. Time to wrap up, dude. All right, guys. Uh, this is Darwolf20 and Pahamar signing off for episode eight. Dire? Yep. Dire. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Take it easy. See you later, guys.